It's quite common on the web to receive emails from vendors that are no reply at vendor.com. We see this quite often. For example, here, have a look at my email inbox and we can see from, from Luma, we've got an email with no reply at lumamail.com. A very, very common pattern. But in the age of generative AI and with tools like Langflow, the best way to create AI agents, we can do better. In fact, at Langflow, we're pioneering that by moving from no reply to please reply encouraging our users to reply and ask any questions. These questions are then answered by an AI agent, but also accessible by us, the, the Langflow team. And so they get instant feedback. And if there's more specific answers they want, we'll respond if and when. In this video, we're going to look at how you can build something like Please Reply using Langflow. And we're going to encourage all of you to do this, to better meet your customers and users where they are. To start with, Let's explore how this is built. What is the journey of an email with please reply? What to start with? You can send an email. Let's just do it right now. So let's go back here to my email inbox and I'm going to compose a new email. I'm going to call it please-reply at langflow.org. And my subject is going to be, um, how do I host it? And then we'll just ask, how do I deploy Langflow? And I'm just going to send that right now. So I will press command enter. Your message has been sent. Fantastic. While the message is sent, we're going to spend some time talking about how this is. What's actually happening once you send the message? Well, the message goes to SendGrid. We're using SendGrid here, a fantastic product. SendGrid has a feature called inbound parse that will receive the email, take the email and send its contents to a webhook. Let's take a look at that now with SendGrid. So if we look at our screen here, we have SendGrid inbound parse. This is the feature, it's in settings inbound parse. This will take email addresses sent to these domains and forward them to a URL webhook. Okay, but what's happening in the webhook? Well, let's open the code and have a look. This is the code that receives our webhook. And so what we get is we get the email metadata from subject text to, we decode them in case SendGrid formats them. And then we get a two email address. Um, this is something like name and email from there. We make sure that the emails are sent to please reply at length. It could go to anything at the domain, but we are only interested in please reply. So if the email isn't to us, then just respond with a 400 status code. Next, we remove, emails have long, long context. And so what we're gonna do is remove all of the context and because Langflow keeps the context. So we're gonna remove all the reply context. Then we're going to connect to Langflow. All of this is happening in a webhook. We're going to connect to Langflow and we're going to run the flow with the input and output right here. Finally, uh, we send the reply to the from, e the from address that sent this email. And that's it, we're just calling send grid send and that's it. Okay, so then what happens in Langflow? Well, we, so for summarizing what we just talked about, what we're doing is we're receiving the email contents, we're sending those email contents to Langflow where an agent lives and will generate an answer for us. We then get the output from Langflow and we send it via send grid to the user. Let's look at that agent now. So if we come back here and we go to Langflow, this is what happens. So we get the chat input. This is the email content. And the chat input, as we can see, this line here goes straight to an agent, just right here. This is the agent. And the input accepts the chat input. This agent is connected to a number of tools. It can get the current date. It speaks to Tavily, which is a web search API. And it searches YouTube for Langflow related content. When it uses all these tools and synthesizes an answer, it serves this over chat output. We then receive that chat output in the webhook. Um, we, we receive it right here. After this await, we get the output and then we send it. In fact, here you can see response.chatoutputText. We just send the text and we also format it as HTML optionally. And then we send it. So that's the whole end-to-end -end flow. And by now, I believe our agent has responded to my email. So let's go take a quick look at my email inbox. And so we're going to come here and we're going to search for from please reply. And there we go. I, how do I host it? I sent this. Deploying Langflow involves several steps to ensure it's set up correctly for your environment. Clone the repository, set up the environment, install dependencies and run it. Access Langflow via localhost. For production deployment, you can use a web server like Nginx and so on. It got all of this from the Langflow documentations and check it out. It says this is an automated response from Langflow AI. Please reply directly to this email if you have any questions. And indeed it can answer questions that you send as follow-ups and you can actually have a long conversation. The transition from no reply to please reply is exceptionally powerful as well with announcements in newsletters.
we send newsletters to our users. And over time, we're adding please reply as the source of many of these emails. As a consequence, any emails that are received by our community with context, hey, we just shipped MCP support or Langflow now supports this or that. You can just reply and ask for details. It will search the web, it will search our docs, and it will search our YouTube to give you highly personalized answers straight in your inbox where you found them. Thank you so much for watching. We hope to see more companies follow suit. There's an accompanying blog post for this with links around. We encourage you to read it. We encourage you to take the next step and enable Please Reply for your organization built on Langflow. We're here to answer any questions and support your use cases in our Discord and other communities. Again, the relevant links are around. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.